Welcome! You're watching Adorama TV. My name is Marcin Lewandowski and in this episode of the Viewfinder I want to share some thoughts with you about seeing better potential for what you might place in front of your camera and it doesn't matter if it's landscape, street or headshots you're into. These are totally universal ideas as long as you're flexible in your thoughts about them. Starting from the end in a way, post-production, or really visualizing possibilities for post-production. As with everything visual, photography is quite subjective and we all see things in a unique individual way. But on some occasions, realizing this vision directly in the camera might be impossible or just easier to achieve in post-production. I'm not talking about applying a gazillion generic filters on a blank shot. I'm talking about polishing a gem about seeing slight variances in light intensity and color that can be later exaggerated. Check out these examples to gain a better understanding of what I mean. I saw some dark clouds in the background of my photograph, where a few rays of light were just shining through. I waited for them to hit my scene and managed to press the shutter exactly once. A few tweaks later and the photograph looks just the way I imagined it initially. The raw material was there and the light tweak made it all work. The second thing we can never overestimate is planning. Strictly speaking, good preparation means that we look at the weather forecast, we predict the sun and moon position, we check the layout of the location we're going to visit by looking at Google Street View and photos that were already taken there. If there is a special event, make sure you will be at the right place at the right time. The other thing to remember is to quickly plan on the spot. You need to be able to troubleshoot and be flexible. You might see a nice composition that you could also use. Sometimes you might just move things around. Sometimes you will wait until something appears where you need it. And sometimes you will just take multiple exposures and move things around afterwards to get rid of any elements that you don't want. Don't worry. It's not cheating, many well-known photographers are doing it and as long as you're not into documentary photography, then do as you see fit. When it comes to headshots and portraits, as we mentioned already, I usually do quick Google and Facebook search for whoever I'll be photographing. However creepy that might sound, think about it. These platforms are part of our lives and can help a photographer in a number of ways. You can see how someone looks, what is his or her favorite music, do they have pets? All of these things are conversation starters and not everyone is a small talk master, so if you meet your portrait sitter for only an hour, this might be a valuable information to get things going and do some bonding. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what you think and if you would like me to expand on these topics. Subscribe to Adorama channel for more and have a look around Adorama Learning Center for some tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Adorama TV. See you next time.